Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to understand about the serverless SQL pool as well as with practically we are going to see how actually we can query a CSV data that is available in a Azure data lake storage using a serverless SQL pool. This is the practical we are going to do. So we have a ADLS location data lake storage. In this data lake storage, we have a CSV file available. What actually we will do? We will try to query this data with the help of the SQL pool with the help of the serverless SQL pool. So with practically we are going to see. So let's first understand what is a serverless SQL pool. A serverless SQL pool is a feature within Azure Synapse Analytics that allows you to run SQL query on data store in Azure Data Lake or Blob Storage without the need to provision a manager dedicated resource. What does it mean? So with the help of the serverless SQL pool, what actually we can do? Whatever the data is available in a blob storage or the Azure data lake storage, right? We can directly query with the help of the serverless SQL pool. In this case, in the case of the serverless, we don't need to maintain any kind of the infrastructure. Means you do not have to maintain any kind of the infrastructure. Means everything will handle by the Azure itself. Everything will be handled by the Azure itself. You do not need to maintain any kind of the infrastructure for the SQL pool. What you have to do, whatever the query you are writing, right? Whatever the query you are writing, for that query only you have to pay. For that query only you have to pay. So that is the use of the serverless SQL pool. In the case of the serverless, you do not have to maintain any kind of the infrastructure. Everything will be handled by the everything will be handled by the Azure itself. And whatever the query you will write, right? whatever the query complex query you are executing only for those query you have to pay means on demand whenever you require to run any kind of the query for the ad hoc analysis or anything what actually you can do you can directly use a serverless and for that query only you have to pay in the case of the dedicated right what actually we have to do we have to maintain the infrastructure and if you are using or if you are not using then also you have to pay for that but in the case of the serverless whenever we require for the analysis we will use a serverless SQL pool and only for those query which we are executing we have to pay for that so that is the use of the serverless SQL pool now let's see how actually we can query a CSV data that is available in Azure Data Lake storage so I have opened Azure Synapse Studio. So I'll go to the home tab. In this home tab, if you'll come to this data, right? So one Azure Data Lake storage is already created, is already associated with this particular Azure Synapse. So whenever you will create a Azure Synapse workspace, right? By default, Azure Data Lake storage, you had to create and that will be associated with this Azure Synapse workspace. So you can see, in a link right I, ha I am coming to this data if I go to the link you can see Azure Data Lake storage I can see that now in this Azure Data Lake storage we have created a one container also we have created one container this is the container if I'll click here if I'll click here you can see we have a option to upload the file so what actually we'll do in this particular container we are going to upload a CSV file so you have to click on the upload and uh, file you have to select so I will try to upload a file one employee file I will try to upload this employee1.csv I will try to upload you can see employee1.csv we are uploading click on the upload once you will click on the upload right the file is uploaded means I have a one ADLS locus ADLS account in this ADLS I have one of the container in that container I have uploaded one employee1.csv file now if you have to analyze if you have to run a query so how actually we can do with the help of the SQL pool serverless SQL pool we can run this so if I'll go to this uh, manage option right if I'll show you the SQL pool in the SQL pool you can see built-in serverless SQL pool is available so whenever you create Azure Synapse right by default one serverless SQL pool will be created and this SQL serverless SQL pool we will use for the query so what I will do I'll go to the data this is the file we have uploaded right now if you want to write a SQL script directly you can click here or you can come to this dialog in this dialog you can open a SQL script now I'll go to this uh, data option a link I will select the new SQL script I'll click on the new SQL script if I select the select top 100 rows right so what actually it will do 
it will open one SQL script uh, window for me and by default it will give me the query also. By default it will give me the query. So what actually it is saying, we are writing a SQL code, right? C select top 100 star, means we are only looking for the top 100 rows star from this particular location. Now what is this open row set? With the help of open row set, what actually we can do? We can directly query the Azure Data Lake storage account, whatever the data is available. Like suppose your CSV file is there, so you have to mention the CSV and you can directly query whatever the data is available in a Azure Data Lake storage itself. We are writing a SQL code and we are querying the data which is available in our Data Lake storage account. So that is the advantage we get. Now we have created one SQL script, we have a query also available. Now if you have to run, right, how actually you can run? You have to run with the help of the some sources. So built-in is nothing but a, this is a serverless SQL pool which is created. Uh, whenever we have created a, a Synapse account, right, serverless, uh, serverless SQL pool already got created, that is a built-in. With the help of this, we can query that. Now before to that, let's first under the, understand this open row set and what is this bulk? Bulk is nothing but a, this is a data. This is a data. If I'll show you. So where is our data available? If I'll click on this uh, here, right? This is our data. Now, in this data, if I'll go to the properties, right? If I'll go to the properties, you will see one URL. So this URL we have to copy. And that URL only we have to mention. And that uh, URL only we have to mention in the script. So I'll go to the SQL script. This is the URL we have to mention in the bulk. Now what is the format? Format is a CSV and this is the parse version as a result. Now if I'll execute, let's see whether we are able to read or not. So you can see it is running. So we are using a serverless SQL pool to run the query with the data which is available in our data lake storage account. So you can see I am able to run this. I am able to run this and able to get the data. But you can see it the first row should be a header, right? But it is not considering the header. It is creating a header itself. So what actually we can do here, comma, you can mention header row equal to the true. Header row equal to the true if you'll do. Now again, if you'll run this, right? You can see now proper header it came. Proper he header it came and we are able to read the data. So like that you can query a data directly in a ADLS location with the help of the serverless SQL pool. Any kind of the query you want to write, you can do that. Suppose I want to do based on the employee ID, what is the salary? Means based on the address, based on the address, I want to see what is the their highest salary. So what I will write, select address. I want to do based on each address what is their total salary. So I'll write sum of salary, sum of salary, salary is a column and what actually I want to do, I want to group, group by address, address. In a group U is missing, group. So this is a SQL query I have written. Now if I'll execute this, right? Based on address, it will give the total salary. You, you can see in India, we have a total salary. In USA, we have a this many total salary. So I hope you got the idea how actually we can directly query the data which is available in ADLS location with the help of the serverless SQL pool.